Hello everyone, I'm back again and earlier today I showed you on how to make pizza toast and it was pretty awesome. Um, my husband ate the two that I, I made him and he was like, why don't you make me two more? And I'm like, no, because that's just kind of something to eat before dinner or whatever. And I know it's kind of like a shadow or whatever. So hopefully this video works out okay. But this video is going to be potatoes <clears throat> and basically this is a different way to do baked potatoes so I had went to the store and I got a bag of large potatoes so what I'm gonna do is these are pretty flat if you have like a potato that is not like flat at the bottom some of the smaller potatoes is kind of like wobbly like this one so what I'm going to do is kind of slice off a thin piece of the bottom to make it flat so that way it kind of sets up where it doesn't really rock. This one's a little wobbly as well. Let me cut a piece of that off. Okay, so there we go and then you can just discard these. Um, with, with working with potatoes you want to make sure you wash them off really good. I kind of let them soak a little while and then kind of do the twist method to get all the dirt and get all the dirt off of there. So this recipe, um, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees because these bad boys are supposed to, the recipe that I'm going off of is supposed to bake and be done within 40 minutes, but these potatoes are pretty large. Um, the picture of the potatoes that they show, they look, you know, maybe an average size or so. So hopefully this takes 40 minutes as the recipe says. Um, the recipe that I have, it's just pretty, pretty plain. Um, I will post it on Keegan Candles on Facebook. So go to Facebook, go to the Keegan Candles fan page, and that picture will be listed. So, what you're going to do with your potatoes is you're going to slice them. You're not going to slice them all the way through. You're going to slice them maybe three-fourths of the way down. And you want to kind of make them kind of thin. And that one, I just ended up cutting it all the way. Um, you want to kind of cut them thin. Don't cut them all the way down because these are going to flare out kind of like a butterfly. And I've heard that these are really good. I haven't had them, so this will be my first time. And make sure you're being very careful with the knife. Because you definitely want all of your fingers to eat with... So you're going to just make slices like this. Let me turn it this way. Yeah, tonight we're going to have chicken salads and these potatoes. Okay, so while I finish up, while I finish up this, I'll come back, and as you can see, it's just kind of sliced, not all the way through, and I'll come back and I'll show you what we're going to put on these. Okay, I'm back, and I just took my round cake pan, 
and just put them in there and of course when I was cutting the ends I ended up slicing it so oh well um, so what you're going to need is some type of basting brush which I have here and it's wet because I rinsed it off so in here I have about three teaspoons of butter and I also put a half of teaspoon of olive oil as well so we're just gonna get these coated real good coat them real good and um, this process that we're doing with basting them well not really yeah basting them um, whenever these start cooking you kinda wanna watch it because whenever these slices that we made start opening up you're gonna wanna do this part again to make them real nice and flavorful um, just gonna put some here on the bottom Um, really right now you can flavor them however you want to I'm actually gonna put some seasoning on them it's like paint a potato paint 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 okay so next Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some garlic powder. I just love garlic powder. I'm going to sprinkle some pepper. And of course, some sea salt. Okay, so we're going to put this in the oven. Um, the recipe again says to cook it for 40 minutes on 425. So we're going to do that and I'll come back in between whenever we add our sauce on them again. And we're going to see how this works. Alright, I'm back. And looks like we have five minutes left to go in cooking. And that was if... I guess I guess it just really depends on the size of your potatoes um, but it has been 35 minutes and they are just now they are just now starting to open up so they can definitely cook longer so I guess since these potatoes are extremely big it's so gonna take a little bit more time so what I'm gonna do is since they've kind of started opening up I'm gonna go ahead and do my butter mixture with the olive oil get that good in there And with these, most of the seasoning that I put on it, as you can see, it's on the brush. So I'm not going to put more salt on there right now. I'll do that whenever they are completely done. But I will go ahead and put some more garlic powder seasoning and stuff on there. 
which these really haven't opened up a whole lot, but enough to get some of this good seasoning down in it. These are probably going to take probably an hour to cook. Okay, so I'm going to put some more garlic powder on these. And just a little bit more black pepper. So I'm going to put these back in the oven because these look nowhere near done. So I'm going to put them back in the oven and I will be back. Alright, I'm back and I took out one of the pieces and I'm going to taste it to see if it is done. And it is not done. So I'm going to put it back in for another 20 minutes. I'm going to watch it and see. These potatoes are just so freaking huge. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so with putting this in and out of the oven, this ended up taking like a very long, long time. And I probably could put these back in the oven and let them cook a little longer um, they are pretty firm not firm tender they're really tender um, with these I believe I'm gonna put like some sour cream on them some shredded cheese on them maybe some ranch or something like that but these are pretty good for dipping you can just tear them off dip them in your favorite condiment sauce and you're good to go so I wanted to show you guys this um, remember if you want the um, recipe that I got it off of um, go to Keegan Candles Facebook page and you will be able to see that picture of this recipe it did take longer because these potatoes are huge but I did want to share this with you guys um, so I'll talk to you guys later. I know it's kind of getting late. It's about like a little after 8. So I'll probably be posting this video tomorrow. So you guys will see this. So um, I'll talk to you guys later.